Hey everybody, this is Jen from Gar Jen's Journey. Welcome to my greenhouse and my potting shed. Uh, last week I did a video on um, some winter sowing reveals of um, some spinach, some lettuce, um, some mustards, and I was sharing how I was going to pot some of the extra seedlings uh, up into uh, other containers so I can get them uh, ready to give to those in need who can't buy vegetable seed start or vegetable starts right now because of the restrictions that are in place with our COVID-19 situation. Uh, somebody had asked me to share how I up pot seedlings um, for that. So I'm going to try to show you today uh, how I do that. Um, it's a little cold today, so I'm hoping my fingers don't get too uh, frozen uh, because I'll be working with water and wet soil and things like that. Um, but I'm going to show you uh, just a simple way of how I uh, get my seedlings ready to be potted up in different containers if they're not going directly into a garden bed. So come along with me and I'll show you how that process goes. Okay, so these are the seedlings that I up-potted last week. Um, some of them need to be watered because they're looking a little uh, um, weak and wilty, but they'll bounce back after I water them. But um, these are different types of greens. I have uh, mustards. Um, I have uh, lettuces. Um, I even have some kale right here. Um, and you can see that they're quite tiny, um, but they're big enough where I could uh, safely transplant them into, these are six pack cell packs that I use uh, for our landscaping company. And um, it works very well if you do it correctly. Um, since these are cold hardy plants, um, right now the cold isn't going to bother them too much they are in my greenhouse so they're protected from direct frost and stuff which at this point might might kill them because they are still very very tiny but other than that um it's very imp uh very easy to get these guys uh, transplanted into the six packs out of the jugs so i'm going to take you into my potting shed and uh, show you what i'm going to be working on today All right, so I'm going to be getting my seedlings from one of these jugs here. Um, a lot of these jugs have germinated and some are ready to be transplanted. And I will show you the jug when we get ready to transplant. I kind of have that put away for now, um, so it's a surprise. But um, yeah, this is how I grow my seedlings. And most of the time I plant these directly in the garden beds. But because I have some extra and my community is hurting, I'm going to be planting some in seed flats. And so I'll show you um, how I do that. Um, I have my potting soil here. This is uh, by Fox Farms. This one is Ocean Forest. I generally use um, uh, Happy Frog, but at the time um, they were out of Happy Frog. Um, so I got the Ocean Forest, which is just as good. <clears throat> And then I use just regular uh, nursery flats. I buy these from um, Grower Solution. Um, I get a bunch of them. Um, since we sell seedlings for a business, I buy a bunch. Uh, and then I have my pots. And then I have my cell packs down there. And the cell packs are what we're gonna be using. I generally use the bigger ones. They're uh, a number 36. Um, so it's very simple. You take a cell pack <clears throat> trying to do this one handed is fun. <laughs> All right. And then I set it right there, ready to go. Um, fill it up with soil and then I start transplanting my seedlings. So I'm going to go ahead and get this full of soil and I'll bring you on back. So I found my other uh, bag of soil that I used and I wanted to show you what the packaging looks like in case you're wanting to look for it. 
This is the uh, happy frog variety of that soil that I was telling you about. This is a smaller bag. Um, you can get it in the big bags too, but this is all that my local hardware store had. So we got the small bag at the time. But yeah, this is the happy frog. And then the other one's Ocean Forest. They're both made by the same company, Fox Farms. And they also have a wonderful, uh, excuse me there. They also have a wonderful um, <clears throat> fertilizer. And I don't have it right here to show you. Um, but it's a very good all-purpose fertilizer. I use that as well. So I'm just going to take my hose here and just go over the soil a little bit. Nothing too drastic. Just want to get the soil a little moist. I had to go back inside for a little bit until it warmed up just slightly because my uh, my soil and my water was still froze because um it's been a little cold last couple days. We had another cold spell come through. Okay. So next I'm going to show you the seedlings that we're going to be working with today. <clears throat> so these are my seedlings. These are uh, golden pearl mustard seedlings. And you can see they're nice size. They've got uh, about two sets of true leaves on them. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and start transplanting them. Um, when it comes to my greens, uh, my lettuces, my spinach, my mustards, collards, uh, kale, all those things, um, I do what's called overseeding. I put a whole bunch of seeds in and let them germinate. And then as when they get this big, um, is when I go ahead and start separating them. It allows me to uh, really save on how many of these uh, jugs I have to use for each crop. Um, greens and other leafy things do very well densely seeded like this. Um, so I don't have any problems doing it this way. So I'm going to just simply take this uh, uh, bundle of, of seedlings. I'm going to gently turn it upside down and allow it to come out onto my hand just like so and see how easy that came out. <clears throat> um, the best recommendation to working with this, I don't know if you can see it on camera, is my soil is moist. It's not dried out. Um, if it's dried out, it has a tendency to stick to the jug really bad um, and it's hard to get out. And also when you go to start separating them, when it's moist, the soil separates a lot easier and you're not damaging the roots as bad. Um, if this were all dry, everything would be tangled together and be very, very difficult to, uh, to get to separate. But my soil is moist and uh, this should uh, come apart pretty easy. Now this is where a lot of my extra soil comes in um, when I'm doing the uh, winter sowing. Right now the roots are actually quite shallow except for a few that are made it down here. So about half of this is actually going to be extra soil and that's where my extra soil goes. I'm just breaking it apart and uh, you see how good my soil is. I actually have worms in it. So, you're not going to hurt the, the seedlings at all doing this, as long as you are gentle. And I just gently pull them apart. You see they come apart pretty easy. Oops, lost one. Um, and sometimes, you know, it depends on what kind of a mood I'm in and how cold I am because like I said right now it's uh, just above freezing so it's a little cold out here. Uh, my greenhouse isn't heated at all so this is actually I'm out in the elements except I'm blocked from the wind by um, the shed my husband built. But anyways I'll generally take these and depending on how big they are like I have a smaller one here see if I can get to cut apart. I got two smaller ones there. I'll generally plant those together 
And then this one's a nice size big, uh, nice size single one. I'll plant that separately. So I just take them and poke a little hole in my soil and just drop them right on in there. And push the soil back up around the seedling. And that's all there is to it, really. I just said, if your soil is moist, the seedlings come apart really easy. It's not a problem. And I just set them in. Some of this is a little bit more difficult because the soil's froze. I just take my time here. It's supposed to warm back up. When? Don't know exactly. <laughs> but anyway. So I'm going to go ahead, ahead and get the rest of these planted and then I'll take you over to the next step. So all the seedlings have been transferred to this flat. I've still got quite more to put in. And what I do is I spray them with a uh, root root um, fertilizer. Um, I have in my Flow Master container here, and it helps stimulate root growth um, to get these guys all situated and uh, good to go. So I just give them a nice drink of this water here. And that's it. I just make sure that they stay hydrated. I water them about every other day. They don't go through a lot of water when it's still cool out. It doesn't evaporate really much. Um, but that's it. And then once these guys get bigger, they will be available to my community. So I hope that showed you how easy it is to transplant seedlings from a jug into um, seedling flats. So thank you so much for watching everybody. This is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. I hope that wherever you are, you have a wonderfully blessed day. Bye!